Hi, I'm Leon Poindexter, and we're here in Fort Point Channel. This used to be the actual waterfront of Boston. This is where the Boston Tea Party happened. And we're coming up now on the Eleanor, and what we're going to see is a new view of Eleanor that we haven't seen before. She, of course, was built out of an old fishing vessel from Gloucester. Uh, she's about 89 feet on deck uh, with a bowsprit, and all she's probably over 115, 120 feet long. Well, we're coming up on Eleanor's stern right now. Uh, she's got two sets of galleries. Uh, across the stern is what they call the stern gallery, and on the side are the quarter galleries. The next thing we're coming up to here is the channels, and on top of the channels, as you can see, are the uh, dead eyes, and this is what holds the rig outboard of the vessel. All these channels, of course, are have got chain plates, so that the ironwork is fastened to the side of the vessel, and this whole system is what puts the tension on the shrouds uh, to keep the mast stable. So what is the most prominent and most beautiful feature of the Eleanor, of course, is her figurehead. John Rowe, the owner, and his wife never had any children of their own, so he decided to name Eleanor after a niece. And this, of course, was, uh, was Eleanor. We don't have any pictures of Eleanor, uh, but we read that uh, Eleanor looked just like her mother, except we don't have any pictures of her mother. But it turns out that Eleanor's mother was John Rose's wife's twin sister, and we do have pictures of her. So this is what Eleanor looked like. The man on the medallion is, of course, John Rowe himself. So there you have John Rowe and his niece Eleanor and a family portrait. Well, after looking at Eleanor's uh, figurehead, uh, the beaver, of course, was a Quaker vessel, and instead of uh, carrying a figurehead, she carried what we call a billet head. A billet head is a very fancy scroll. The Quakers were not into using uh, fancy figureheads, but a little more simple billet head, a little more modest adornment for the bow of the vessel. Gary Anderson of uh, Connecticut uh, carved both the uh, Eleanor's uh, figurehead and this uh, handsome billet head for the, uh, for the beaver. Above the billet head here, you can see the bowsprit. Following the headrails back, you go to the cat head and the anchor. And then, of course, you can see the rig here. Uh, the rig is a brig. Uh, brig means it's a two-masted ship with square sails on both masts. Well, the museum is fully open. Uh, the visitors are coming down and enjoying the ships. Uh, we still have a few details to uh, take care of, and we're working right along on that. But uh, that's about all the time we have, and uh, uh, I need to get back aboard and uh, check on what we're doing.